There are two other mean calculations that is important to understand um, when it comes to just basic level of statistics. The first is called a weighted mean, and this is really important if you want to try to figure out how your average in a course is weighted um, for your final average if all the course assignments um, aren't equally weighted in your grade. Um, so the exam um, scores, weekly assignment scores for the student are given in this table, and we want to know what their final grade in the course would be. The equation for this is given as the sum of x, w over the sum of w. Now let's talk about what that means. Order of operations is really important when you're looking at some of these formulas. You need to take your x values, or in this case, your scores, and multiply them by their weights. Let's do that here. So that means 15 points are added to the grade because 0.15 times 100 would be 15. 20% 20 times 92 gives us 18.4 points. 20% times 84 gives us 16.8 points. 0 0.2 times 88 gives us 17.6 points. And then 25 times 90 gives us 22.5. So you would do each one of those calculations first then this sigma, this capital sigma here, means add all of those up. So 15 plus 18.4 plus 16.8 plus 17.6 plus 22.5 gives us a 90.3. Now the second part of this says, and then divide that by the sum of the weights. Well, in this case, I changed all of these to be decimals. So the sum of the weights is 1.0. So if I were to divide this by 1.0, I would just end up getting that as my grade. Where this might be different is if maybe I left this as percents um, without converting it to decimals. So like 15 times 100 and I had this as 1,500, and so on and so forth, like that. Well, then in that case, I would divide that number, which would probably end up being this, by 100%, and you'd end up getting the same answer here. Okay, so weight it first. Each x value gets its weighted first and then divide by the total possible weights. Also, sometimes we are just given a frequency table without the actual data points in there and we might need to find the mean. Again, there's this little bit of a summation equation that is given to us, and I'll talk about how to find that here. But the thing I wanna make sure that we understand is I know five students scored between these two values, but I have no idea what they scored. All five of them might've got a 50. All five of them might've got a 59. It's probably five somewhere in between those, however, and I just don't know what it is. So the way that we do this, it's going to be an approximation. It's not going to be the true average, but it's the best that we can do. You need to find the midpoint for each class. You find the midpoint by adding the two boundaries and dividing by two, or just realizing that it's the middle point 
between those two values. So like the middle number between 49.5 and 59.5 would be 54.5. So instead of being like, okay, I have all 50s or I have all 59s, I'm going to say I have five 54.5s because that's the best guess that I can do. And then notice here in my frequencies, I'm then going to do F times that midpoint. So five times 54.5 gives me 272.5. All right, since my class width is 10, it should be pretty easy then to find all of these midpoints would just be 10 above that. If you are more visual and you need to see this, like if this is 49.5 and this is 59.5, right, I'm finding this one but then the next bin is just gonna be in the middle. So each one of those midpoints would be 10 um, data values bigger, or 10 points on the number line bigger, because our class width is 10. All right, let's go through and multiply these. I cannot do that other one in my head and be accurate. I would be nervous about that. Okay, so again, I just want to review. I know that 30 students, right, scored between these two values. It's probably some collection of values between a 70 and a 79, right? But I don't really know what that is. So I'm going to say, mm, let's just pretend like all 30 scored a 74.5. So I could add 54.5 five times, 64.5, 10 times, 74.5, 30 times, like in a document, like maybe in StatCrunch or even in my calculator. But this does that for me. This says I have five of these, I have 10 of these, I have 30 of these, and like what that value would then be. I need then need to add these up. So in a mean equation, you're used to adding all the numbers and dividing by the total. So I'm adding this like frequency midpoint as my approximation. And then I'm going to divide by the total and there's 100 students. So our average, and this is a sample, is about 79.5. 